Hey Goonies, today we're going to take a look at my Xbox One controller settings for PUBG, right after this quick intro. Alright guys, we're going to take a look at the settings real quick. For Dead Zone, I like to keep mine down to 5. Anything less, I get some stick drift, and anything more, it's not sensitive enough. Type A for controller settings, therefore I don't have to hold left trigger and left bumper while holding my breath. General sensitivity and all the targeting sensitivities are going to be turned up because my aim acceleration is down. If we turn up our aim acceleration, we're going to want to turn those down, but I'm going to later give you an example of what they look like with aim acceleration 10 all the way up. With my aim acceleration down to 2, there's a nice gradual build, and I can best show that with a graph. When someone's running across my screen, I want to gradually build speed with them if I have to. Once I'm at 10, you can see how snappy it is, especially with those targeting sensitivities all the way up. Again, best illustrated by a graph. You go from 0 to 100% speed instantly. Now that's pretty tough when you're trying to make small transitions because you slowly start to build and then it snaps all the way and I often find myself snapping past a target. Now if we turn our sensitivities all the way down, you can again see that there's still a lot more snap to the sensitivity. This is why I keep my aim acceleration down to 2 and my other sensitivities up. That's really all I have for you guys today. Try out my sensitivity and let me know if you like it or if you prefer something different. I smell ice cream. 